Ujjwal Kumar Sen and uh, in this video tutorial I am going to share with you about band break well band break uh, is a break which is really used uh, in automobiles but nowadays we are not using this type of breaks because these breaks are uh, we use this kind of breaks in uh, in old time I mean it's around uh, 20 years ago we have used such type of breaks band break, shoe break, drum break we have used right but even then we have we have been studying this type of breaks okay so okay don't worry about that so my motto of creating this video thought well is to help you to understand the formulas as well as the question has been asked in gate previous year that's why you will understand its basic concept as well as you can solve the numerical problem so so basically what is the most important thing in case of band break okay of course so if braking will apply break then what will happen there will be produce friction there will be produce friction then you know uh, the oh, there should be a angle angle in which angle the brake will be applied so and of course uh, tension will be taking place or tension will consider in this case so based on these data all these things they are uh, based on your action uh, for applying brake we are having a formula that is t1 by t2 it is equal to e to the power mu theta so here we are having three important things mu is coefficient of friction coefficient of friction theta is angle and t1 is tension on the tight side tight side and t2 tension on slack side tension on slack side so these things are most important right so the question we are going to discuss uh, in this video tutorial only that question has been asked in gate as I have, I have already shared with you and in that question we will apply this formula only based on this formula we can solve that numerical problem so if you are watching my videos or maybe you have been watching my videos for a long time because I have created number of videos related to gate and mechanical engineering so I will tell you one thing just don't watch my videos at least if you are preparing for gate because for gate preparation you need this word always with you that is practice you have to practice numerical problems you need to learn formulas then only you can get good score in gate right so in case of band break we got this formula now now we'll go for that question which question has been asked in gate previous year and we will implement this formula to find out answer okay so cool now let's go for that question so right now in you are the question is in front of you I think you can read yeah you can read it so now read the question first and uh, if you are beginner as I'm sharing with this is my first video related to break well in my upcoming videos I will make details videos all about all topics that's why I will get each and everything uh, under one umbrella under in my tutorials only in my YouTube channel only so in other media also okay so uh, in case of this break what we have given in a band break ratio of tight side band tension to tension on the slack side is 3 so here what is tension basically let me share with you it's a one kind of force its unit always would be in Newton or kilo Newton that is different thing but yes would be in Newton so what happened when we see this T because we denote T as most of the time we denote T as torque sometimes we denote by tau but tau is for shear stress we also denote in show strength of material even in many places we have denote tau as shear stress even in fluid mechanics okay so uh, so basically don't get confused here with T that T is torque because the unit of torque is Newton meter but unit of tension as I have shared with you is Newton so always try to understand these things because these things will uh, make you confused or maybe you will face problem in the examination 
because you will do real practice there because what question you are going to get most probably you haven't seen anywhere probably you have solved related question but it happened that's why I'm sharing with you so always try to focus on these things where you will get confused okay so one thing I have cleared you that <coughs> it's tension and its unit is in Newton now in the question they said they said that ratio it's a ratio ratio of uh, it's a ratio of what tight side by slack side that means t1 I, I have already shared with you t1 is a tension for tight side and t2 is a tension on the slack side so t1 by t2 is equal to in the question we have given is equal to 3 right so we have given what t1 by t2 is equal to 3 we got this thing now write it down here only if you are beginner then do this if you are not beginner i will tell you what to do if angle of overlap band on the drum is this so theta is equal to 180 degree right we got another thing now we have to find out coefficient of friction so for band break we are having an equation i have shared with you t1 by t2 is equal to e to the power mu theta so what i have shared with you just now if you're a beginner then read the question first and try to write what they have given and then write what you have to find out right if you are not beginner then i will tell you what to do that is also important now they have given theta in degree i have to change in radian that is pi right so what we got here t1 by t2 is equal to e to the power mu theta so e to the power mu pi t1 by t2 is equal to 3 apply log both side okay so if you we'll apply log both side we are having you know a natural log is there so try to implement natural log on the both side okay so what we'll get basically that is important right so what we'll get basically that is important now what we'll do we'll implement natural log both side right after getting this after getting uh, natural log this what will get mu theta and theta is what pi this is a most useful concept in gate see i have solved thousand questions were already asked in gate previous year so i have seen in mathematics or many places we have to implement this concept log uh, concept of log even based on the uh, based on this concept they have as quotient in aptitude so uh, try to understand this concept and have it in your mind always that's why you will not uh, face problem because solving this equation without implementation of log is difficult that's why i'm sharing with you okay so log 3 uh, it's natural log 3 is here now we can say coefficient of friction natural log 3 by pi is equal to what we have to use calculator so this by pi right so answer is what we exactly we are getting 0 0.349 coefficient of friction so if we'll see or if you we'll look at option then option a is the right answer for this question so we have solved the question uh, practically but thing is that what i have shared with you already that at the end of the video dot 12 i will share with you i will share with you if you will if you have practiced two three question on any topic then what to do then just don't read this question full question if you read this full question then probably you are going to waste at least uh, 40 seconds on an average each question and in gate there are 65 question so after investing 40 seconds you don't know you are going to solve that question or not right so what to do what to do just read the first line of the question or last line of the question why to find out what the question is asking to calculate after doing this you will find out that yeah in this question we will get we have to find out mu coefficient of friction then write out the formula for finding out coefficient of friction then find out things what they have asked now put their all values and find out the what we have find out in this equation if you will do this then you will save your time as well as you will come to know you can solve the question or not 
because uh, it's uh, about too impossible that you can solve all the questions given in the competition examination about to be impossible okay so this is all about uh, band break uh, and how to find out coefficient of friction in band break in my next tutorials i will share with you more question about band break uh, classes and also many topics i am going to cover well thanks for watching see you soon in my next video tutorial bye bye